Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Do you remember, and I'm pretty sure you remember, how much talk and BS was poured on us by the mass media here? Mass media, the corporate media was poured on us for the past, I don't know, uh, six years and still is about the Russians, uh, Russians um, interference in the US elections in 2016 when uh, President um, Trump won. Remember that one? Oh my God, and they warned and they tried to raise the question, the issue with Putin. And did you ask him? Did you blah, blah, blah? You are an asset telling, you know, Trump. So they didn't like when someone was interfering in the internal affairs of another country, which nobody likes that. The problem is the United States does that all the time. Here's an example. And you might think, well, maybe not. No, no, we don't do it. Well, look at this one. We have Taiwan, we have United States, and we have China. Now, let's take Taiwan. Taiwan is not part of the United States of America, is it? No. Taiwan is here, the United States of America is across the Pacific Ocean. Bye-bye. Thousands of miles away. Over sea, okay? Whew. Next to it is China. China says Taiwan is us, is China. Taiwan says, yeah, we are... Um, yeah. So, however you want to take it, Taiwan is much closer to China in any way than the United States of America to Taiwan, correct? I think we established that one. And if you don't uh, agree with that, then I don't know. Uh, let's move on then. Uh, so, what's going on here? We have uh, Taiwan and there's going to be some elections. And you have candidates in Taiwan and one uh, candidate seemed to not be too friendly to the United States of America somehow or at least seem to be a little bit outside of the club. And guess what's happening? United States, the representative over there, which will be like the embassy, they don't have an embassy, but it's like a, uh, it's called differently. I will uh, mention it while I'm reading this article. The chief over there, a uh, woman, she, uh, the representative of the United States of America in Taiwan, she's gonna talk with this opposition guy that wants to challenge the guy, the, the person in charge of Taiwan at this point, to, hey, what's going on? Do you have any connections with China? Well, it's like a teacher calls a student, you know, to the, to the office to uh, ask him, hey, do you have a... Blah, blah, blah. United States does not interfere in any other country's internal affairs, only questions candidates. Well, here it is. And interestingly enough, I did a little research on the uh, American uh, diplomat appointed over there by uh, uh, the U.S. government. Bloomberg, U.S. presses Taiwan opposition candidate. Right there, stop right there. What do you mean? You have no business on pressing anyone in Taiwan. Uh, but it presses Taiwan opposition candidate over likely China plans. Well, it's the will of the Taiwanese or the Chinese, however you want to call them. That's they're gonna vote about it, not you. You don't have to agree with it, do you? I thought you love democracy. So, US presses Taiwan opposition candidate over um, likely China plans. So, what he can have a uh, likely, I don't know, uh, Mars or I don't know, France plans would that work for you? Obviously, not so. The top U.S. liaison to Taiwan asked the opposition presidential candidate about how he would navigate relations with Beijing if he wins next year's election, ac according to people familiar with meetings, with the meeting, as polls show a tight race between the key parties. Uh, it's none of your business, that would be my answer. It's not your fucking business. How am I going to navigate and get the hell out of here? But anyway. This is the country that doesn't get involved in that. And this is the person, Laura Rosenberger. All right. The new chair of the American Institute in Taiwan, which serves as the de facto U.S. Embassy, sat with new Taipei mayor, this guy here, who this is challenging, uh, <laughs> the authority, for dinner on June 7, part of a series of meetings she had last week with key candidates in the January 2024 race. So this person, Laura Rosenberger, she had meetings 
with key candidates for well, how is that Taiwan uh, we don't interfere whatever so um, the meeting with Hao or Ho, relatively unknown in US policy circles was the first with Rosenberger since she took the chairmanship of AIT in March so she's what the boss's representative in Taiwan all right let's see who's this Rosenberger is so I went here I typed Rosenberger and I in Wikipedia we don't find her we find them on Wikidata so I went on Wikidata all right and I said okay what's going on here here is she this I don't know um, there she is Laura now she is in charge she is over there and she was appointed she was a uh, worked as a uh, campaign uh, uh, in a campaign campaign for uh, Clinton and so on so I went down here sex female tra -la -la, entity pa -pa -pa, languages Family, Rosenberger, rapa, rapa, rap, occupation, employer, ruputsupu. And I, one I found interesting is this. A ethnic group, Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, nothing wrong with that. So I went here. I said, okay, well, right now, she is no problem with that. I have no problem with her, obviously, being, I don't know, French or German and so on. But it was, I thought it was just interesting. Couldn't you find a, I don't know, a ethnic, I would say, Chinese from America dealing with this? Uh, issues of China uh, since you don't uh, send Romanians dealing in the Middle East uh, if you know what I mean and I know, I know exactly what uh, I know exactly that you know what I mean I mean when you have I remember Kushner Jared Kushner uh, Trump's idiot son-in-law he was appointed as a senior Middle East advisor by Trump now that was a mistake he didn't have any uh, uh, credential but being Jewish he was, uh, uh, and okay, it doesn't mean he knows anything about that, but anyway, he was not born in Israel, he was born in America, but anyway, he was over there, and everybody was okay with that, seemed to. Now, here you have Rosenberger in Taiwan. Well, why not, I don't know, a Chinese uh, American? Let's put it this way. I think that that person would understand more about the culture and other things about that but anyway maybe the language and so on my point is not about rosenberger here she could be as a, as i said a martian and i don't get, oh it's something else that i missed here not missed but uh i saw right here in the wiki wiki thing here i saw somewhere i don't know um let me go back here because she said something let me find it for you actually i found it right here if you look here feminist so she's a feminist okay no problem with that she was a feminist no problem with that so um as i said i don't have problem with her per se it's just strange that you don't find a chinese american all right i think according to being you know, jared anyway what's his name blinken blinken is is uh, uh, half jewish as well nothing wrong with that uh, Victoria Nuland, she's Jewish too. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Zelensky is Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. Reznikov is Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Zhmihal, the Prime Minister of uh, Ukraine, is Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. The Chief of Staff of uh, Ukraine, Yermak, Jewish. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just, you know. So here we have United States of America questioning the candidates. Hey, what's up with you, man? You, what's your plan? How are you gonna juggle with that? Hey, who are you? Exactly to ask me? Well, I'm the one that I want to make sure that you're gonna get the job or not. Basically, this is a job interview conducted by Rosenberger. Now, how do you like it? Let's say you are Chinese. Someone from China. How would you like that? Let's say it's gonna be me, a Romanian born. Showing up over there and telling the uh, guys in Taiwan, hey, who Mr. Ho, whatever your name is, how are you going to juggle that, huh? I represent the United States of America. What would you say? Off, Emil. The same way as probably you should tell this person, off. So, um, this is our method of uh, hiring people and appointing them on different posts on, around this globe. And those people, it's not you see only one but that person has her own stuff uh anyway as zelensky 
Zelensky uh, picked Zhmihal as his prime minister. And he appointed Reznikov as Minister of Defense of Ukraine. And then he appointed Yermak as the chief of uh, the presidential staff of Ukraine presidency. So, whatever, my point is here, interference or not interference. Not who's who, what's what. Because you're going to be a, a, an, a, I don't know, let's say a, a German um, national and be a good guy and being the president, let's say, not national, of origin, you know, et ethnic, ethnic German, be the president of Romania. If you do a good job, I don't really care about it. The same. Zelensky could be, I don't know, uh, French. If you're doing a good job for the Ukrainian people, I don't mind that. I don't care. You know, people voted for the guy. Mass media gave you the information and uh, <laughs> you voted. So anyway, my friends, no interference here. Nothing like that. I don't like this double standard. You know, when we do it, it's A-OK. -okay, but when someone else might do it, it's not A-OK. -okay. So thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.